What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm vlog here at Hidden Heights Farm. My name is Kevin for those of you that are new to the channel and uh, there's one of our turkeys. That's old Tom there. He uh, he had his wings clipped but he just figured out how to uh, get through the fence somehow. He jumps right over it like it's nothing and uh, I don't even bother putting him up anymore. If he's not smart enough to get back in on his own that's on him. Uh, luckily we keep uh, buckets of water and stuff around and mentioning that it is blistering hot today it is a hundred degrees first hundred degree day here in oklahoma we are here in northeast oklahoma and i got a project that i just have to get done and i'll talk a little bit about that here in just a second but uh if you guys are members of our youtube community page if you're a channel member uh, it's a 4.99 fee it's there's a little button right down here by the subscribe button that says join if you uh, are subscribed to our membership and uh Every once in a while, I post little sneak peeks of things coming, little things that might be in the next video or whatever. Well, the other day, we were at uh, the Lowe's parking lot, and we went and picked up some lumber, and I posted a picture. And uh, <clears throat> everybody that's a member on there were saying, hey, more animals? Are you building new pens or what? And unfortunately, well, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunately, we're not getting new animals. This has nothing to do with animals. And uh, let me go in the shop, and I'll show you this lumber i bought so everybody's saying you can't find treated lumber well every time i've been in the last three months they've had everything i've needed and what i got here are some 12 foot two by sixes and these are pressure treated and uh, what we're going to be doing is replacing the deck on this little utility trailer and the reason is we use this thing a lot to haul our ranger we use this for hunting and all that good stuff and uh here recently I've been driving it down to Dutch's land on his little uh, new off-grid adventure but uh, anyways we haul this thing all over we use this trailer as well to haul our um, zero turn mower down to our uh, creek property where we keep it mowed and all that so the other day uh, we went down and we mowed and I noticed some of these boards were bad and then the next day I went down to spray for weeds and poison ivy and I loaded up this ranger which is really really heavy and look what happened the tire just about went through right here this thing is really bad and uh, it's very dangerous so this utility trailer is a tilt trailer you pull the pin right here and it folds up and you just pretty much drive up on the back with whatever you got you don't have to have ramps or anything like that but the problem is these things are made to be mass produced you know they sell tons and tons of them so every dollar they can save on them they make more profit well, they didn't use treated lumber. They just used normal pine wood and they painted it black. It didn't last hardly two years and it starts rotting, you know, out in the weather. We don't, you know, I don't have facilities where I can keep everything covered. So unfortunately this sets out in the rain. So the water kind of sets on it and it rots the wood. And yeah, I could cover it up and all that, but I'm gonna do it proper. I'm going to replace this deck today with some uh, pressure treated lumber so first thing I got to do I'll show you guys I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna stop and video everything I might just do like a time-lapse type thing so on the front and back they got they actually used two by tens that were just regular pine not pressure treated they laid them down and they welded this strip of flat metal on the front and the back and then they tack welded it so I've got to finish cutting these welds off pull this off and then I got to come up here. I've got to take all these screws out. And then I can pull all this old lumber out and replace it with the new treated. But let me show you what I'm going to use here. So they've only got one row of uh, screws holding these boards down. Like I said, these lips, this metal flashing little flat metal piece holds down the lumber on the front and the back. But what these are are galvanized self threading screws not self drilling not self tapping Let's see if I can get focused on them. you see these ends right here that's self drilling it's not self tapping so I'm still going to have to use a drill bit to get a hole started and then I'll use my impact to drive it all the way in and uh, like I said it's 100 degrees I got a cool little cooler of uh, ice water I'm gonna set this camera up set my GoPro up and get busy and see if we can't get this knocked out it's in the evening time it's like four o'clock sun's pretty high so it's pretty much the hottest part of the day 
and uh, I've been putting this off. I've been needing to do it, and I finally got the lumber when we, when we went to Lowe's the other night. So I'm going to get busy, quit talking, and try to get this done. Well, there you have it. The uh, new deck on the trailer is done. Um, I did break a few drill bits here and there. And they just don't make those drill bits very good. I even put some uh, WD-40 on there because they were getting hot, but I still managed to break some and some of them got dull. But as you can see, the deck is completely replaced. And I got the little piece of strap back here, welded back on to hold it down on the back. And uh, I think we're good to go. I'll show you guys how this works. So basically this is the easiest type of trailer you can use if you guys mow yards or haul lawn mowers or four wheelers or anything. Alright, so I just have this pin here, pull it out. Alright, there's your ramp. So uh, say you got a four wheeler, lawn mower, whatever. You don't need no ramps or nothing right here because this whole deck is your ramp. You drive up here, you pull it up towards the front. Boom. Put your pin back in. Put your keyway in. Cargo pin, whatever you want to call it. And there you go, you're locked back in. And uh, your cargo secure once you strap it down. So, uh, like I said, this is a project that I've been putting off for a while. I knew those boards were getting rotten, but they were still okay until I put the heavy weight of this Ranger on there. I think the last time I had that much weight on there was back in uh, hunting season when we were deer hunting back in the fall. So, uh, I'm glad to get that project marked off the list because Lord knows we have tons of projects going on. And, uh, you know, I could have probably put this in the shade. It would have been a little easier. 100 degree days. Whew. Uh, it took about an hour, so it's not too bad. Got it knocked out. Um, 
You know, I've been seeing all kinds of people on Facebook and even YouTubers and stuff say can't find any treated lumber or hardly any lumber at all. Um, luckily, every time I've needed anything for projects, I've been able to go to the lumber yard and uh, pick it up. So I haven't had a problem, but hopefully I don't have to buy any more for a while. And you can see where my drill bits broke right here. I, I got to get uh, another drill bit so I can finish putting in those screws. But the stuff ain't going nowhere. It's pretty tight. And one thing I did have to do is you notice this little piece right here is not a full two by six. I had a little gap where I had to rip down a two by six and it fit in there. So this whole thing is really tight and this should last several years, probably 10 to 15 years. I'm going to say. You know, this stuff lasts a lot longer than just your regular old pine lumber like they use. Like I said, they build them so cheap, they use the cheapest parts possible pretty much. And uh, that's one thing that, that's the life of your trailer is your deck. So as long as that's good to go, you're, you're going to be safe on the road. Got good tires, uh, grease your axle hubs and all that good stuff. But anyways, I am going to go get in the house and get changed and take a little break before I got to go feed all my animals and all that. But uh, I know this is a little bit different video, so thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for watching it. Thank you all for all the support. We love you guys. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next video.